Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about how you use the definition of the derivative. So the definition of the derivative says that f prime of x equals the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x and all of that divided by h. So we've got the question f of x is 3 over 2x squared plus 7x minus 1 and f prime of x is what we're trying to find. So the first thing we're going to do is substitute in everything that we can into this formula. So we've got the limit of h goes to 0 of what we do with the f of x plus h. So we look at our original f of x and we say anywhere we used to see x, now we see x plus h. So instead of 3 over 2x squared, we have 3 over 2x plus h squared plus 7. Instead of 7x, it's 7x plus h minus 1 minus the original function, which was 3 over 2x squared plus 7x minus 1, and all of that over h. So what we're going to do first is simplify x plus h squared. So x plus h squared is the same as x plus h times x plus h. x times x is x squared plus x times h times plus h times x. That's adding the same thing twice. So that's 2xh. Doesn't make a difference if you want to write it as hx instead. And then h times h would just be h squared. So we have that. And that was all being multiplied by 3 over 2. So when we multiply by 3 over 2, we'll get 3 over 2x squared plus these twos will cancel out and we'll be left with 3xh plus 3 over 2h squared. So I'm just going to erase this and we will go back and I'm just going to write it a little higher up. Limit as h goes to 0 of 3 over 2x squared plus 3xh plus 3 over 2h squared minus, sorry, plus 7 times x is 7x, 7 times h is 7h, minus 1, minus, I'm just going to distribute the negative sign into f of x, so negative 1 times 3 over 2x squared would be negative 3 over 2x squared, negative 1 times 7x, minus 7x, and negative 1 times negative 1 would be positive 1. And that's all still being divided by h. Okay, so now it's kind of a lot of work, but it's good. Things are going to sort of start to happen for us now. We've got 3 over 2x squared and negative 3 over 2x squared. So those are going to cancel out. We have plus 7x, minus 7x, those will cancel out. We have negative 1 and positive 1. That'll cancel out. H goes to 0. Right still, let me just make sure. Yes, we're still in. Okay. We've got 3xh plus 3 over 2h squared plus 7h, all divided by h. So what we're going to do now is see if these numbers, variables on the top, have anything in common. And they do. They all have an h in them. So I'm going to factor out the h. If I get rid of the h, I'm left with 3x. If I get rid of 1h from here, I'm left with 3 over 2h. If I get rid of the x from here, I'm just left with positive 7. And now a miracle has occurred because our h's cancel out. And we're left with the limit of h goes to 0 of 3x plus 3 over 2h plus 7. If h is approaching 0, then 3 over 2 times h is approaching 3 over 2 times 0. Anything times 0 is just equal to 0. So we would have figured out after all that work that f prime of h is actually equal to 3x 
plus 7.